what's up youtube welcome back to my channel okay y'all so don't mind me a little bit too much because today is a weekly vlog and we got things to do but before we get into this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and also make sure y'all go follow me on the gram at golden car underscore 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 and we just gonna get right into the video um we're doing a weekly vlog as you guys know and right now today i'm going with my mother and my cousins really i call one like my auntie because she's like my mom's age but they're really my cousins and i also have a favorite cousin we're all going to see tabitha brown and her husband today um so i'm excited about that i've always watched and known of Tabitha Brown, but like my mom is absolutely upset. She loves her down. So we're going to see her. Do I know what's in store for today? No, I don't at all. But I'm about to go ahead and throw on just a little bit of makeup. That's what we're going to do. Pop on a little bit of blush and we're going to go about our day because I hate when I drop stuff. I'm about to pick it up with my toe. Wow. Okay, so um, because I really have been feeling like the big face is always going to give let's be honest you can never go wrong with a with a beat you just can't but a lot of the times it's not necessary and i feel like this is one of the times where it's just not necessary so we're gonna do something real light i'm gonna go in and touch up my eyebrows just a little bit make them a little bit darker okay so literally that's all we're doing for the brows like nothing too crazy i don't want them too full because we're not gonna have like no full full face you know so after that i love to go in with my elf camo concealer and my born this way if y'all don't know about these maybe these are the best concealers you're gonna get the lighter one is the born this way concealer so i like to go in my inner corner and then i like to basically put like the one that really matches my skin tone in this part if you need to, you can add more either one. It just depends. So now after I blend both sides in, I'm going to take the concealer that actually matches my skin and go over little marks that I have that I think I would want to cover up. Okay, and then this is what you get after that. I'm gonna put some banana deep and translucent powder underneath the eyes to set it and also on my face. This is how you get just like no wrinkles and baby no flashback this is all this is this is all that this is for and i use revlon because it's cheap and it works just as good okay so now that i put that on there we're gonna do a little bit of blush like when i say a little bit just a little bit okay so now that i have completed the look for today i'm about to go ahead and do my hair and get dressed and i will be back to y'all i am now in the car and i'm stopping to go get some food so realistically y'all it don't start till 7 30 at night but we wanted to get there at 6 30 because it's going to be you know that's when doors open basically but it say i don't get there till 6 27 and that's what i'll be getting food so i'll be there after y'all i need to eat i am so hungry i haven't ate so i'm about to stop by steak and shake hi could i get a number seven with no pickle add ketchup and lettuce and then can i also get an oil milkshake no whipped cream or cheese no whipped cream or cherry and that'll be all thank you y'all literally now that i've been looking at like calories and stuff lately bro it say that meal is 950 calories that's crazy that's a lot that's a lot a lot a lot 
And that don't even include the milkshake. Okay, y'all, we got our food. And low-key, they definitely just took long, but we are about to head there. And I will get to y'all then because I'm about to drive and eat this food, okay? Some of the things that you want to hear about. Okay. okay. Um, so you said I walked through every door he opened. What doors did God shut that you thought were yours? And what did you learn from that? Well, all right. Um, he he shut many. Uh, actually, some of the ones he shut were more important than the ones he opened. Mm. Come on. Um, and some of them were relationships. That didn't serve me. Yeah. Um, that served the old tab who was conforming. Yeah. The old tab who was afraid. So when he shut those doors, I realized, oh, he needs to elevate me. If I had stayed back there in that room, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. Like, her husband is right here. Like, what are we talking about? Chance is right here. Okay, y'all, we just left seeing Tab. <laughs> and now we're at this place called Ali Burger. We, down, we downtown Columbus. It's currently 10 p.m. It's vegan. Yeah, my cousin, y'all know. Y'all know, know who this is. And we told our parents to come, so they're in there. And hopefully this is very interesting and funny. But Ali Burger on Wednesdays are lit at night because they got R&B night, so. We are gonna see what it's talking about. Say hey! No, not this way! Y'all, y'all, y'all. So y'all, it is currently the next day and we're headed to Walmart. We're almost literally right here about to pull up to pick up my groceries because your girl wanna start eating back healthy, y'all. It's like real life, an on and off journey with me. But I really am trying to take it more serious, so we just gonna we just gonna go through this together. But I ordered some food to make sure that I'm eating correctly because your girl be eating one time a day, and I hate that about myself because it's really unhealthy. Not only because you're not getting in the right amount of protein and stuff like that, but it's unhealthy because your body is holding on to all that fat that you have from whatever food you had. It's not letting go of it because it feels like your body ain't got nothing else, you know, coming in it coming in you like nutrients protein just stuff period y'all i just really got to do better at the end of the day that's just really what it is so we're gonna try until we get there that's all that matters one thing at a time we're gonna go to the hair store and get some uh lace glue because baby this thing sliding back and we're gonna see if we can do what it do uh, name, please. carrier paste Thank you. You, you, can, it. you can put it in the back seat yep But as y'all can see, we got the groceries and it's a lot of them, okay? So that's that, but we're about to head to the hair store really quick so we can get some lace glue. Okay, y'all, so it's literally raining so I didn't take y'all in, but y'all, why nobody told me that this little, this, this is $32? Why nobody told me that? So this better work for sure, but y'all, it's raining so hard. I have to take all these groceries out. So most likely y'all, I'm gonna catch y'all when we in the house, okay? But I am gonna show y'all all the groceries that I got or whatever, but this is just ridiculous. It been raining dang near every other day. And to be honest, it really been raining every day. I think we had like a two day break of rain, but like over the past two weeks, y'all, it been raining every day. But baby, I'm gonna wash my hair and stuff today. And we gonna see what this talking about. If I'm being honest, I don't even think I can return this, so. Hey. Hopefully it works. But if it don't, I give up with the hair stuff. But I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Sorry, y'all might hear the dishwasher, but I got some strawberries, pineapples, bananas, celery, carrots, like these little protein, little like Pop-Tarts kind of. Protein noodles as well. I got rice, um, protein waffles, light sour cream. I got some two, I don't even know what this is, like low sugar yogurt, healthy yogurt. 
black beans, chicken, turkey bacon, meat, turkey sausage, bell peppers, taco seasoning, vegetables. It's like a lot of broccoli in the back. Um, light fat cheese or fat free cheese, whatever you want to call it. Potatoes, protein granolas. Um, it's some croutons back here. Skinny popcorn. I also got these two drinks, y'all, and I think they're going to be nasty because there's zero sugar, but we going to work with it. Um, then, as y'all can see, I got a yum yum sauce. I got Alfredo sauce, salsa, soy sauce, and I want to say this is, yep, teriyaki sauce. Then I got some reduced sodium chicken broth. This is Caesar dressing or whatever. Um, I got the carb balance tortillas, and then I got some wraps. Um, and I want to say that that is all, y'all. They say money can't buy your love. They say money can't buy your love. You never seem to listen. I'm on this. Just cop your girl a brand new woman. But you can't ever find the kind to spend it on. Thinking that. So you guys, y'all seen that I got my groceries and then I headed home, edited a little bit, and now I am meal prepping, but I was on the phone, so I wanted to still record and get it out the way. I ended up making um, chicken, and this was like my main meat for this meal prep, so I made a good amount of it. And then as you guys can see that I'm seasoning it, I season it to my liking, period. I'm not about to not be seasoning my chicken, y'all. I don't care how healthy I'm trying to get. It gotta be seasoned. After that, y'all, I ended up putting um, some rice, some beef, broccoli, and of course, cooking the chicken on the stove. And then I go ahead and put all of it, well, I went ahead and put all of it in containers. And then I made some hibachi um, directly after. But it was like more so healthy hibachi. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, y'all. So today is literally the next day. It's the next day. And let me just catch y'all up real quick. So... Last night, I think the last thing I recorded was me meal prepping. And basically, I did that and I made some hibachi. So, later on, I had to work. And y'all know I can't record me working. Blah, 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 blah. So, then, um, I ended up trying to... I told y'all I went to the store to buy some boho, right? I bought boho active for $32, right? So, I'm cleaning up my lace or whatever. Woo, 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 and it's just not looking right like it just didn't look right it didn't look right to me and i feel like the boho glue was not strong like it didn't feel strong it didn't feel like my wig was gonna be secure so i took it off i took it off and this morning y'all um i had work and then i literally washed my hair and blue dry it because baby one thing about me if i don't like my hair it's coming out here's the problem y'all I have no idea what I'm about to do to my hair until May 7th. I don't get my hair done until May 7th because I go to Cabo. So it's like, I don't want to get my hair done again and spend hella money for a two week hairstyle, if that makes sense. And I tried to book to just get like a little silk press or I don't know, something simple. And people's books is booked until the 23rd of April. Some of y'all probably thought I was bald head, but I'm not bald head. But I do need my ends trimmed like so bad. But I'm not bald, y'all far from it okay but yeah that's that um i wash my covers i don't know if y'all can tell but ain't nothing on my bed i end up washing my covers um i got some packages but i'm trying to wait for one more package for me to show y'all so i can unbox it with y'all and right now y'all your girl's hungry so i think i'm about to make some hibachi again y'all made some hibachi it was so good it was supposed to be like the healthier version and it was so good so i think i'm about to make some hibachi and this time should I just show y'all me making it? Like, y'all want to see me cook? Like, do y'all really? Y'all don't have a choice. Because I'm not doing nothing else for today. So, I'm about to cook with y'all. Okay, so, boom, y'all. We're in the kitchen. And I want to cook with y'all. But I really wanted to not do a voiceover since I did that for the meal prep. So, y'all going to be really looking at me instead of the food. I'm just going to be telling y'all what I'm doing. So, for starters, the ingredients are very simple. So, I got some frozen mixed vegetables basically i put one cup of this on and i don't feel like getting the measurements so i'm about to grab a handful what i like about this is the things that i meal prep um like white rice and i also meal prep chicken all i have to do is add it with this so i'm gonna let this cook for a little while just because it's frozen 
And then um, also I got some eggs. Matter of fact, I can show you guys. I have eggs and then I have some soy sauce, but I got the less sodium soy sauce. And then I also have some sugar-free teriyaki marinade um, sauce and this is bomb. So now, because my vegetables are heating up, y'all, I'm gonna take literally an egg. Realistically, realistically, I can do two eggs, but for right now, we're gonna do one. I broke the egg up. We're gonna let it sit for a little while. Then I got my little white rice. I'm about to show y'all how it looks because I know y'all want to see a little bit. So right now, y'all, this is how it looks. I got the vegetables, the white rice with the egg over there cooking. And don't worry about it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come together, okay? With the rice, we're going to pour some soy sauce and marinade sauce on it. This was so good yesterday. I wish y'all could taste it. If I could cook for y'all, I would because, baby, yesterday I tore this down. As soon as you start mixing everything together, especially with the sauce that you put in, that's when you start to smell it. Like it literally smells just like hibachi in here. Now I can put on the meat. This is what it looks like. Period, 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 period. I have Minute Maid Zero Sugar Fruit Punch. So we gonna try it. If I'm being completely honest, y'all, I don't know what that tastes like. Honestly, I really don't. But it's not good, but it's not nasty, if that makes sense. Like it's not like, ugh, but it's not like, mmm. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We made the hibachi. As y'all can see, it's literally just a small bowl. I don't want to tilt it over to, to make it drop, but hibachi. And then, y'all, I got this yum yum sauce, the original Japanese gluten free yum yum sauce. So, basically, everything that I did, I just tried to include healthier ingredients in smaller portions. I did one cup of rice, one cup of chicken, one cup of veggies, one egg good protein and we getting our calories in to the point where it's not too much just a little yum yum sauce on the top of it and now y'all i'm about to eat so you guys today is the next day and i haven't been doing anything today really besides working of course y'all already know this but i came outside just because it's a good day outside and it's just a perfect day to just soak in the air not too cold not too hot um but we gonna have one of them one of them moments where I'm about to get deep with y'all. Not too deep though. We ain't gonna get too deep today. I'm just letting y'all know like just basically what's on my mind, what's in my heart, and um, I'm realizing that healing is literally a never-ending process. Like you get through one thing and then it's another thing to get over, and then you get through one thing and it's another thing to get over. And I don't know why I ever thought that it was something that can end just because I thought I was doing so well, but let something trigger you like when you're triggered it feels like everything that you just worked so hard to get over or just like work towards being able to handle those feelings just reoccur and um realistically i i don't really think too negative about what healing is but i do think that it's it's never linear like it's always something you're going to have to get over or fight through and what I'm realizing is that I have to learn how to allow myself to feel what I feel. Like, even if I don't understand it, like the other day, I was so upset at something like I was so mad and I'm I was really upset at, at the principle of the situation. But I was more mad that I was still angry. Like you think that you over something, you think that everything is fine. Then you you feel like, I don't know. Like, it's just like. Uh, I don't know. I, I just basically think like you think that you're over something and then you realize that you might not be as far as long as you thought. And I think that um, it just comes with it. Like everybody talks about healing like it's just this beautiful thing. But healing is painful. Healing sucks. Healing is not something that just feels amazing like the process of becoming a better person and a better woman and just having experience in how to be a just emotionally stable and things like that yes healing has good parts of it but the feeling of healing is not is not well it's not the feeling of healing is is not good okay but i just feel like it's worth it it's worth it but it, it's just it's just something else. I remember being a junior in college and I used to always see quotes that said, um, one day you're crying, 
the next day you're happy the next day you're emotional like that is real life healing and for months um i just felt pain of course and then for another couple months i felt strictly happy like i felt good where i was at i'm happy where i'm at right now currently i always have on and off emotions about where i am and there, i never have um depressing moments or like moments where i feel like i'm like out of it and snap it out of it but i do have moments where i be angry like i'm angry or i'm hurt and that's the part that um i just thought was going to get better like well it did get better don't say i'm not going to say it didn't get better but i just thought it, it i just I just really thought that I wouldn't feel anything anymore. And this goes for anything. Like, you could be healing from anything. A death, a relationship. Like, anything. It's just hard. Like, grief is not for the weak. It's just not. And um, I feel like a lot of the times I am grateful for my placement i'm i'm thankful that i'm even here and able to say like i've grown from this i've grown from that i've been here before i'm i love all of that but i do feel like baby i still have a long way to go like even when i'm dealing with certain situations or certain people me realizing that i had trust issues was very hard for me me realizing that i was gonna have to start over in another relationship was very hard for me me losing my friends was very hard for me i just always took like hit after hit after hit so a lot of the times my healing has always been in one area is going well and then another area is terrible like I'm just ready. I, I feel like I just be ready to feel nothing. Like, I I, I really feel like um, you get to a point where it's like, when is it over? But it's I don't really think it's over. But it's not a bad thing. Like, I'm venting to y'all, but please don't take this as a bad thing. Please do not. Because the thing about life is there's always going to be something you have to get through. Period. That's just what it is. And, and this is life. Like, I don't want y'all to think like, oh my God, like, I don't want to go through healing. No, like, go through healing. Deal with what you got to deal with. Because it is what it is. And I, I feel like a lot of the times with me, I always tell myself it is what it is. Like, if I'm hurt, it is what it is. Like, I just be taking stuff. I just take, I just take stuff. I just take it, take it, and take it. And I think when I reach a point where I just get overwhelmed, that's when I have to sit back and understand, like, I can't invalidate my feelings. I just have to work on them. Like, I always just tell myself, it is what it is. It's okay. Wooty, wooty, woo. But no, I be having to, I be really like, no, this f***ed up. Like, no, this is not okay. No, I don't like that. I felt disrespected when you did that. I don't f with how you moved when you did that. Like, that's what I need to just start expressing. I, I, I keep making it seem like everything is okay. And it just don't be okay. Like, it just don't be. But healing is forever something that we all need to do. But just never think that healing is easy. Never think that it's supposed to look a certain way. Because realistically, each day is different. Like, and I hope that made sense to y'all. But that's just where I'm at. Um, there's a lot of things that have took place in my life that I've never opened up about. I never talked about. I never... I just... I just really... I'm just really starting to come to a place where i have to be okay with getting everything off my chest if it's ugly if it ain't what people thought it would be i just have to get it off like get it off okay and um me identifying what my biggest trigger is which is feeling like disrespected feeling played with i be ready to spaz y'all because I treat people so good and I'm such a good person. Like I, there's nobody that has came across me that can say I was a bad person, that I wasn't good to them. But some way, somehow in the process, I'm always the one that get played with or disrespected. And that's the thing that's hard for me with my healing journey right now. Like understanding that I have to just 
keep pushing and keep going and keep being okay with like I just don't like that but I don't want to make this like a super long conversation but that's just how I'm feeling right now that's how I'm feeling today um and again when I have these type of conversations I never want y'all to think that it's something that y'all shouldn't partake in I think there's beauty in everything like there's a reason for everything you you feel. There's a reason for I just I just believe in everything works together for my good. Everything is working together. So even me feeling the ways that I do some days is working together. Okay, I'll get back to y'all later, and let me know if y'all liking the natural hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pull your daddy. Man. Not your dad. You feel me? Not your dad, because I would never I would never try to pull your dad. You get what I'm saying? I would never disrespect you like that. But. Yeah, like. yeah, I'm going to see y'all later. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm leaving church. I got my niece in the car. Go ahead, say hi. Hi. Because <laughs> she wanted to be on this camera real bad. So, yeah, we in the car. We leaving church, and I'm about to go to the hair store really fast because I just had to book my mom a hair appointment, and I know that she's not going to know what exactly to get. So we're heading there, and my mom is following me in the back. I don't know if y'all can see her. But church was good, and... Um, it is literally a great day outside. Like, I might go get some ice cream or something because it's one of them type of days. It feels super good. But, yeah, when I get home, though, I definitely want to show y'all my packages that came because, um, I've been waiting to. Another package was delayed. Like, it just keep being delayed. It was supposed to come, like, four days ago. It still hasn't came. So, I'm about to just show you guys the ones that did come. And I'm going to go ahead and close the video out. But, yeah, I'm with my knees. <laughs> and yeah, she's been here. When did you get here? Like two days ago? She been she been with us though for like two, three days. Let me get some. Where you get it from? Um and it's got the monkey. Realistically right now, I'm having the worst cramps ever, so I think my period finna come. I definitely think it's <laughs> period. <laughs> you don't know what a period is? When you bleed out your vagina. <laughs> and it hurt. I won't be doing that. You don't want to be doing that? Um Every woman gets, every girl gets it. You're gonna get it in a couple years. No. Yes, you are. Send me back to town. What? Send you back where? <laughs> Send you back where? To God. To where? God. That's not what you said. <laughs> Did you say send you back to hell? I didn't mean to say hell. Girl, what are you talking? Time out. Time out. Cause who? When did you ever even say that? When was you ever in hell? God, God didn't make us in no hell. Hell was a bad place. Like what, girl? Don't say that no more. We'll see y'all when we at the hair store. Cause what? So we are currently at the hair store. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, mom, why were we just in the car? And I had said like, I was talking to the camera. I was like, my cramp's starting to hurt. So I think I'm about to be on my period. She said, what's a period? I told her a period, right? right. I said it make your, you know, whoop 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 She gonna say, I don't want that. I said, everybody get that. She was like, no. I said, you gonna get it in a couple years. She said, send me back to hell. Oh my God. Like, what are you talking about? After 30 years of looking for hair, it wasn't too bad though, y'all. Um, We found something. We found enough. Okay, so yesterday y'all see me. It was Sunday. I really didn't do much, y'all, because I ended up working, of course. But this is the thing. I did get packages and I wanted to show y'all. We're gonna start off with Amazon packages and then go to the next one. So the first thing is a full skill. Because y'all know I was meal prepping and all that. I was supposed to use this, but it didn't come. So I'll be using this the next time I meal prep. I just have to learn how to use it though. Like I don't understand all of the like grams, the units and stuff like that, but we're gonna learn. Oh, I forgot I what this. I was gonna say, girl, what is this? Okay, so y'all know what these are. These are like wooden little sticks. 
I don't know if there's like a certain name for it, but basically these are the sticks that I use to wax myself and I tried to wax the other day and I was all out. Then these are gel tip nails. Can y'all see them? Y'all, I'm not getting my nails actually done till May, so it's giving press-ons. Like I got on press-ons right now, but I want longer ones, so. I ended up breaking my nail off to the point where my skin came off. So I wanted to give my nails a break from acrylic because it was hurting so bad. But I can't walk around with bare nails. So, yeah. Here's the package that I've been wanting to show y'all. The first one are New Balances. Look at them. Look at them. Y'all, I've been wanting these for so long. Um, they're the cream ones. If you don't know, I'm starting to be a New Balance girly. And the cream, first off, is going to match with almost everything. Second off, they're fire. And, oh, they're just done. I got me some. This color actually looks, wait, these look huge. I got some dunks. They'll still do because I'm going to most likely wear these with Nike socks anyway. But, yeah. Brenda, Felicia. Hold on. All right, but yeah, these are the two shoes that I ordered. Um, to be honest, these look different in person. I thought this was like a dark green. These, I don't even know what color these are, to be honest. Finally got to show y'all those. I'm about to put these shoes up in my little clear boxes. And to be honest, I need to go on Amazon and order another like set of clear boxes because mines are filled up basically. I'm about to show y'all. To I only have one opening, so. I'm going to have to order some more because this ain't going to do. But to be honest, I might take these two out for right now and then put them back when I order some more. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next weekly video. Bye!